Hey DIY decorators! Recently I was about to toss this dingy old chair and right when I got it to the garbage I dragged it right back in the house and decided to challenge myself with an upholstery project. Now I'm upholstering this chair using only my Sherbonder hot glue gun and fabric sticks. Now here's the thing about using hot glue with fabric. It sticks the fibers together and it's actually stronger than a machine stitch. So this chair works perfectly. You can sit on it and it looks great. Thumbs up if you like this video and leave me a comment if you have a question about this project or you just want to say hey. Are you ready? Let's upholster this dingy old chair with hot glue. The foundations of what we know now as upholstery in the modern era were laid in the Elizabethan era in the late 16th century, when crude forms of stuffed chairs became more common as replacements for wooden stools, which were more commonly used at the time. The history of upholstery began with tent making and started with textiles being used for wall hangings and draperies. Upholstery didn't become associated with comfort until the reign of Queen Elizabeth I when the first beginnings of modern furniture and cushions began.
fringe originated as a way of preventing a cut piece of fabric from unraveling when a hemming was not used. Several strands of weft threads would be removed and the remaining warp threads would be twisted or braided together to prevent unraveling. I'm going to leave a link for Sherbonder and everything I use for this project in the description below. Thumbs up if you like this video, leave me a comment and I will get back to you. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Press that notification bell so that you know I have a new video. Follow me on Instagram at TheMarkMontano. Grab any one of my craft books for inspiration. I think you'll like the Big Ass Book of Home Decor. I'll see you next week. Bye.